uh, welcome to the Vagrant Baits uh, get together. Uh, myself and Darren Greenfield are down at Rycroft in the Midlands, uh, fishing in a beautiful water. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at uh, certain methods that we can use in, in the warmth and the heat as it's going to be a very hot day. We've been using zigs um, and then going on to bottom baits later on. All the bait that's going to be used today will be vagrant baits, um, so we'll see how we get on. My name is Diane Greenfield and I'm uh, just going to give you a bit of a rundown on the uh, session we're having with Vagrant Baits today and yesterday uh, on the tactics we've used on uh, catching some of these fish. So um, we got here yesterday and uh, about seven o'clock, quarter past seven and a few fire some biscuits out and the, the wind was blowing biscuits so the first approach was a bit of surface fishing. and. Um, Went down, did a bit of stalking, happened to get one out, which we've got a little bit of video footage of that. And uh, the rest of the day, we changed to zigs. And um, the bait that was using was flare, topped off with a bit of black foam. And um, what I'll do is I'll just go through the situation and how I used it. Uh, the, the zigs was six foot long. And um, what I was doing was putting black foam on the bottom of the bait with the flare on the top. When I do my zigs as well, I always like to get it so the actual bait is right on the bend of the up, so it's sitting right close. So the presentation sits like that in the water. <clears throat> Most of the fish came to this, uh, and I was constantly spotting probably every half hour, dog biscuits over the top. Uh, nothing sinking, everything was floating on that and um, produced four fish doing that, uh, sorry, three fish doing that. And then um, we switched tactics towards the end of the day and to bottom baits. And I was using a, like a, a combi link, stiff combi link on that. And um, fishing over the top of v uh, Vagrant Baits 3 as a bottom bait with um, a Tanju pop-up over the top of it. And that went within about half an hour, that did. So, um, Presentation wise, because I've fished this lake before, I know the bank's fairly steep, so my plan of attack for this was actually boating across to the far side of the bulrushes, um, tight up to them, knowing then that it wouldn't slide down the bank, and it seems to be doing the trick on the bottom bait. Uh, zigs, same again, over the far side, very slack so it's not sliding down the bank, and um, it's been producing the goods at the moment. It went a bit quiet last night, um, don't know why, we had a few knocks and stuff but they said, I don't know if it's the water, they've gone into deeper water at night, I don't know, but it just went dead quiet last night. And uh, so we're going to go to the same tactics again today and uh, see how we get on, catch more fish on the zigs. <laughs> 